To many of the students at Princeton University, Albert Einstein was a local character, always wearing baggy clothes, never wearing socks, and of course, his long, white, uncombed hair. Einstein believed that worrying about haircuts and socks took time away from his important work. In 1939, World War II began when Germany invaded Poland. Einstein, being a pacifist, had opposed war in the past, but now believed that the Nazis of Germany had to be stopped at all costs. Einstein had learned that scientists in Berlin had successfully split the nucleus of a uranium atom. Taking into account his formula of E equals mc squared, he knew that this splitting of uranium would release a great deal of energy, enough to create a bomb of enormous destructiveness. In a letter he wrote to President Franklin Roosevelt, Einstein urged the president to develop this atomic bomb before the Germans did. Einstein stated that a single bomb of this type, carried by boat or exploded in a port, might very well destroy the whole port, together with some of the surrounding territory. However, such bombs might very well prove to be too heavy for transportation by air. Heeding Einstein's warning, the United States government began employing physicists to develop this bomb. This was known as the Manhattan Project. They worked in great secrecy in the desert at Los Alamos, New Mexico. Einstein was not asked to join the project, as the government believed him to be too outspoken to be trusted, even though in 1941, Albert Einstein became an American citizen. On August 6, 1945, 40 years after Einstein had theorized about E equals mc squared, his theory would finally be proven. An atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan by a U.S. bomber. A few days later, a second bomb was dropped on Nagasaki, Japan. Nearly 200,000 people were killed or injured. The Japanese soon surrendered, and World War II was finally over. After learning of the damage that the atomic bombs caused, Einstein regretted his push to have them developed. He called his letter to Roosevelt the greatest mistake of my life. For the rest of his life, Albert Einstein worked for world peace. After learning of the millions of Jews killed by the Nazis, Einstein more than ever spoke out for his wish for a Jewish homeland in Palestine. In 1948, his wish came true when the nation of Israel was formed. Chaim Weissman became its first president. In 1952, Weissman died, and Israel's Prime Minister, David Ben-Gurion, began looking for a new president. Ben-Gurion came to America to ask Einstein if he would accept the office of the presidency. Einstein was deeply honored, but turned down the offer by saying, I know little about nature, and hardly anything about men. As the years went by and Einstein grew older, he kept busy working, but made no more great discoveries. He spent the last years of his life working to develop a unified field theory. This theory was supposed to explain gravity and all of nature's hidden forces. It would also explain the motion of matter in both the tiny world of atoms and the infinite regions of space. Einstein was not successful in this final project, but he believed that he was headed in the right direction. He was working on this unified field theory the night before he died of a heart ailment on April 18, 1955. Einstein had given specific instructions in the event of his death. No funeral, no grave, and no monument. His remains were to be cremated and scattered in an undisclosed location. His home nor his office was to become a shrine. He thought of himself to be just an ordinary man. But as a man, Einstein was anything but ordinary. He was a genius in every sense of the word. His theories revolutionized physics and brought the world into the atomic age. Scientists today have a better understanding of the universe because of his genius. Einstein was much more than a great thinker.
He was also a great soul who spoke out for peace. But most of all, he was a man who never stopped questioning the world around him. These questions running through the mind of Albert Einstein and their remarkable answers changed the world forever. <laughs>